Welcome everyone. This video is how to conduct a complete soap note. For more information, please continue watching. I'm going to first discuss the components of a soap note. We have S, which is subjective data, O, which is objective data, A, which is assessment, and P, which is the plan. Subjective data is essentially the chief complaint and symptoms. This is what the patient tells you. So when you interview the patient for the first time, they will tell you things that bother them or the reason why they made the appointment to begin with. So examples would be, I feel sick, I have a headache, things of that nature. So these are things that you cannot physically measure, but these are rather things that the patient tells you. So moving on to the O, the objective data, these are the signs, the response to treatments. So these are the items that you can measure. This is what is observed, measured, or monitored, like the vital signs or something that's visually, visually present, like swelling of the arm, redness, oozing of a wound area, and um, bruising, things of that nature. So moving on to the A, the assessment. Assessment is another word for diagnosis. So based on the subjective and objective data, the assessment, or otherwise known as diagnosis, is what is determined based on the interview questions and what is measured. So this is something that the provider will evaluate based on the patient's conditions. And um, so it would be things like, for example, we have here a sprain of left, left wrist or URI or pregnancy or something that is more of the definitive. So moving on to the P, which is plan, that is the immediate or future actions based on the assessment. So the plan can be things like medications, x-rays, lab tests, therapeutic orders, rehab, follow-up visits, an ACE bandage, cast, things like that. So now that we've determined all of the components of a soap note and went through the details of this, each soap section, I'm going to go over the example scenario that we're going to base our sample soap note on. Okay, so here we have our soap note scenario. I'm going to read this note with you and I'm going to highlight the important areas. So the patient's name is John White. His medical record number is 10640 and date of birth is 10-4-1937 and the date of service here is June 5th, 2017. So here is this the uh, narrative of, of the soap note. Mr. White is sitting in the waiting room and it is his turn to be called to the examination room. When you call his name, you notice he rises from the chair with some difficulty. So this right here is something that you observe. Okay, so he uses a cane for assistance. As he walks, he favors his legs and takes a short halting step each time with that leg. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this area where it says that he takes a short halting step each time. So moving on right here, when you arrive in the exam room, you ask him, why is he here today? He says, I just have this pain on my knee. Sometimes it hurts in my left arm too. When you ask him to clarify, he says it's his left knee. So, and also just remember that anytime there is something that you can quote in your medical record, definitely do so because that validates your charting even more. So again, I'm going to go ahead and highlight right here that he says he has pain in his left knee, in his left arm. Okay, so right here is where we left off. It says, you take his vital signs, and his blood pressure is 152 over 98, his radial pulse is 78, and his respirations are 20. His temperature is 98, I'm sorry, 99 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So again, this right here is going to be some objective data, so I'm going to highlight that. When you look at his blood pressure, you notice that the rate was irregular. You then listen to his heart rate by placing the stethoscope on his chest. This is called an apical pulse. This time his pulse was 82, and you notice that the heart rate is irregular here as well. Okay, moving on, he tells you that he has been taking his medicine for hypertension right along as the doctor wants him to. It has not been causing him any side effects that he noticed. He also states he has no known allergies. You ask him about his level of pain in his knee using the scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very low, and 10 is the extreme pain. He says his pain is about a 7. He tells you that he's been taking acetaminophen, but it has not helped very much. You notice his left knee is larger than his right, so I'm going to go ahead and go back here. I'm going to put in some more subjective data. Pain is about a 7 and also that you noticed his left knee is larger than the right knee and that there's swelling and light redness over the left patella. You tell him that the doctor will be right there to see him. So when the doctor comes in, the doctor observes the patient, orders an x-ray of the patient's left knee, and prescribed 10 milligrams of Norco, PO stands for orally, daily for pain, and to follow up at the office in one to two days after the x-ray results come back for further treatment. So this right here, I've highlighted all of the pretty important information that we need for the note. I'm going to also highlight what the doctor observed and part of his plan. So he ordered the x-ray and the Norco and the follow-up visit. So based on what I've highlighted here, I'm going to go and chart all of this information onto the actual soap note. All right, so here is our example of the sample soap note that I had used to write our, our information on. I've abstracted the information from our sample scenario, and I have went ahead and included the information. So here at the top is the patient data. John White is our patient. His medical record number is indicated here. His date of birth, his no known allergies as indicated on the sample scenario. And then on this side is the date of service as well as the time of the appointment. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And what I've done was I've indicated the SOAP and this is where it shows each section and what I wrote on each section. So the S is our subjective data. So this is what we have interviewed the patient and what they have, have indicated to us. So I'll go ahead and read this. 80 year old male with complaints of pain in his left knee with occasional pain in his left arm. Patient states his pain level is a 7 out of 10. Observed patient favoring his left leg when taking short halting steps. Noted swelling and some left redness over the area of his left patella. Left knee appears larger than right knee. Vital signs are blood pressure is 158 over 98. Blood pressure is irregular. Heart rate is 78. Heart rate is also irregular. Respiration is 20, and temperature is 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Observed patient and ordered, ordering an x-ray to rule out arthroscopy. X-ray, and the plan is x-ray patient's left knee and prescribe 10 milligrams of Norco orally daily for pain. Follow up at the office one to two days after x-ray results come back for further treatment. Then right here at the very, very bottom here, at the end of the note, you'll notice that there's a signature of the doctor and the date that he signed it. it. So it's very, very important that when you have the doctor sign the note, that there's always a date behind it because it, there, it, it's a legal record and it could always come back um, as part of subpoena or something of that nature. So 
It's always important to date your, your entries. So that is the entire SOAP note. And right here, um, subjective data is the, the interview of the patient. The objective data are the true definitive measurements that we can actually say state as facts. A is the assessment. That's what's the, what the um, diagnosis is. So oftentimes, when you don't have a true diagnosis up front, you'll need you know, tests or lab lab like blood tests drawn to rule out a specific diagnosis or to actually get your definitive diagnosis. And then P of course is plan. It's what they are going to do based on what they've determined as the assessment. So we put in here that a follow-up is needed because they didn't have a true definitive assessment. They are just thinking that it might be, the doctor is thinking it might be um, an arthroscopy that might be needed. So with that said, that is the entire SOAP note process. I hope this was helpful and have a wonderful day.